Hi, we're here at the Liberty Wellness Center that's well known in our community for supporting students. And this is part of our look at when we have more, we do more. When the state, as they have, have, it, have uh, made really historic increases in public education recently, it allows our district to better meet the needs of students. Um, so we call it, when we have more, we do more. So I'm here with uh, Nick Samitolidis, uh, Assistant Principal at Liberty High School. Hey, Nick, um, who has right. been one of the driving forces behind establishing the Wellness Center. So maybe you could talk about, you know, we say we can do more, what's the more we're doing? Absolutely, Th and thank you for this sure. opportunity asking the question. Um, we have been very vigilant in understanding that during and after the pandemic, unfortunately, what kids are going through today, or young people, um, there's nothing that's going to vaccinate anytime sooner mm -hmm. what's happening um, to their brains, their minds. We even know all kids, uh, science has shown that not only does it change the structure of the brain, but you could put another point on when we talk about adverse childhood experiences. So prior to the pandemic, during and after, um, we can do more, right, when we have more, and that is train our classroom teachers. We're not training our classroom teachers to be full-fledged therapists per se, but how can we teach them to understand um, some of the challenges, uh, the suffering, um, the obstacles to their learning like never before. This is all new. We're, we're yeah. learning and growing as we go. And so how do we give them some strategy, skills, uh, and techniques in order to build community in their classrooms and have you know multiple touch points with adults in classrooms um, to push back against some of the challenges, the trauma. We know having one or preferably more um, individuals and adults in a student's life beyond their home um, really so, pushes back the challenges. So the classroom is a starting point, right? Absolutely. Because that's where kids spend most of their time Correct. and that's where everybody goes. What about when for the for the students who that's not enough, like they for they just need more support emotionally? Absolutely, great question. And so right here where we're at, we're standing in a peace room, as we call it. And so students have an opportunity when they feel themselves um, perhaps being challenged at the moment in the classroom environment for a host of reasons. Uh, we have students that are able to utilize this place um, and they could use it as a space just to be quiet, to um, regulate themselves again. And kids are great and they know. It's a quick check-in, five, 10 tops, maybe 15 minutes. And they also have an opportunity to speak to someone. We also have Moravian occupational therapists here and they're able to, if the student is willing, to connect with them and kind of see what's going on, whether it's thoughts they're having or perhaps organizational challenges, executive functioning, could be really quick in and out and recalibrate them and get them going back into the class as, as part of something beyond just the classroom. That's really interesting because in, in the adult world, a lot of times with work, if you need a little break, there's break time, you get to go to lunch, quiet lunch, or you know, I just need quiet time. Um, and for kids, they come in at 7.30 in the morning, and they're cranking through classes all the way to 2.30. So if a student needs to like, I just I just need a breather for a few minutes, um, this is the place to come. Absolutely. Self-regulate. Yeah. That's a great point. We're teaching them a, a pro-social, healthy life skill to be able to do that, to see yourself interrupt a pattern of going into perhaps a cycle of frustration. And 10, 15 minutes, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't have to become a 90 minute session right. of a difficult class. Yeah, because you just come back down <clears throat> and settle. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Yes. And it really gives the example of, you know, when we have more, we can do more. The challenge for us, and uh, Nick knows this better than I do, that the need still exceeds our ability to meet the need at school. So the, the need for uh, social workers, counselors, mental health workers uh, to bring from our partners in the community into the school to provide the services where the kids are, um, that need is still great. So we're um, um, thanking the state uh, for the investments in public education, but uh, asking for that those historic investments to continue to build so we can uh, serve the needs of even more kids. So thank you, Nick. Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome.